<laughs> Yo, what is up, dudes? We're back here in Fallout 76 with the start of a brand new season. This will be season six, and Fallout first members actually get right off the bat this pretty cool jack o lantern, uh, Jack Gordon type outfit. I think it's, yeah, it's called Jack o lantern helmet and Jack Gordon outfit. You get this right off the bat, you can go ahead and craft it up, and uh, it looks pretty freaking cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's a nice start to uh, the Halloween stuff. Usually, I'm wearing my uh, my uh, what is it, the Valorous Alistair set here, but um. I guess I might as well rock this for a little minute. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. I'll rock it for the sake of this video. But uh, anyway, I want to go over the new Season 6 rewards. I did make a video uh, yesterday, the day before Season 6 was released, about all of the rewards on the website. But we didn't actually get to look at the scorecard itself because the season, of course, was not out yet. So uh, we're going to check out. This is my first time seeing the scoreboard, to be honest with you. Um, is this as far as I can scroll out? My scroll wheel's broken, so I don't know if this is it or... Oh, I can zoom out with the... Yeah, that's as far as you can zoom out. So, uh... It's a pretty nice scorecard. It's kind of different than, uh... Usual. We've got the diabolicals up top. Okay, we start here, work our way down that way. There, it's got arrows to kind of guide us through. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go over real quick all of the rewards. And then uh, I'm going to show you guys in the next video how to break into Vault 51 because apparently you can now, according to the patch notes, can get into uh, Vault 51. You can see I already leveled up uh, or ranked up once and uh, they're doing double score because of the confusion with delaying the season and stuff like that. So we're going to get double score for nearly a week. I think it starts now until like Monday. So um, yeah, we'll be able to plow through a lot of the early uh, scoreboard rewards like right off the bat but anyway let's go ahead and get started here oh man i just noticed the fetch collectrons at the very end dang dude i really want that one's probably one of the best ones it's a robot dog anyway let's start at the beginning so we've got a man-to-man -man sidekick mask uh medium vault tech supply package man-to-man -man profile pick or player emblem whatever you want to call it player icon a demolisher mask the fallout first perk is three lunch boxes uh, a carry weight booster Three lunch boxes, man to man posters. Okay. Oh, posters. Plural. All right. Uh, three legendary modules, 150 atoms, 500 caps, Manta, the Manta sidekick costume. Okay. Large Vault Tech supply package, Pure Mind uh, icon, a perk card pack, T51 flare. That's pretty cool. A silver shroud flare. Okay. Two flares right next to each other. Oh, so that flare is for Fallout First. Okay. So. The Silver Shroud Flare is probably, actually, I'm probably going to be using that one. Uh, three lunch boxes, Mistress T45 paint, so that's the new power armor paint. It's going to be the Mistress of Mystery paint for all of our power armor. Uh, three legendary cores, 150 atoms, 1,000 caps. And then we go into the Inspector's area of the scoreboard where we've got Inspector Sidekick Glasses, Perfect Bubble Gump, three of them. Uh, Inspector Profile Pick or Player Icon, whatever. Daphne. So we actually get a, two new allies this season. One's Daphne, which we unlock over here. I think this is rank 25. And then we get another one at 50 over here, Maul. Uh, we get three carry weight boosters as a Fallout first perk at rank 25. The perk card pack, we've got five nuclear key cards, Mistress T51 paint, 100 legendary scripts, 150 atoms, 100 gold bullion, uh, Inspector sidekick costume. Okay, kind of silly looking, but whatever to each his own i'm not really a big fan of any of these costumes they offer to be honest i'll probably just rock valorous allisteris costume from last season but uh three scrap kits we've got quick draw pose pretty cool i always like to see new poses for photo mode uh one perk card pack the samurai oh so samurai is a fallout first uh bonus we've got a gas pump workbench which is going to be really cool for anybody with a red rocket station themed camp uh, three lunch boxes, the Mistress Excavator Paint, five legendary cores, 150 atoms, a thousand caps. Wait, a uh, silver shroud. So, okay, so we're going into the silver shroud. If I click on this, does it actually say what rank? Huh, okay, so that's kind of different about this scoreboard. It doesn't actually show the ranks per thing. It used to show. Did it used to show the. I don't know, I'm kind of confused now. Did it, didn't it used to have the levels? The rank next to the reward? I could be wrong. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, 
going into the Silver Shroud uh, part of the board here, we've got a Silver Shroud Sidekick Mask, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, basic Three basic repair kits, uh, Silver Shroud Player Icon, a Perk Card Pack, three lunch boxes for Fallout First members, a Silver Shroud Tesla uh, Rifle Paint, five Legendary Modules, a Mistress T60 Paint, 150 Atoms, and then at rank 50, this is halfway through the scoreboard here, we unlock Maul, which is a super mutant comic enthusiast, Grognak enthusiast rather, super big uh, Grognak fan. You can actually see they have the Grognak headband on, but uh, Maul is going to uh, give us some goodies. I forgot what exactly they give us, but um, I'll probably make a video about Daphne's bonuses as well as Maul's bonuses whenever I unlock them. I did talk about it yesterday in yesterday's uh data mine sneak peek uh type video i made so if you guys want to know like a whole lot more about this season go check that it pretty much covers literally everything about this season it is called a uh, sneak peek season six or whatever uh so that's rank 25 we get mall i'm super excited to have mall as a uh as a new ally oh and the new allies don't actually come with their own quest line so we won't have to worry about that uh 150 atoms at rank 26 2500 caps Three carry weight boosters, silver shroud sidekick costume. Uh, we've got a perk card pack, and we've got green shag carpet. Okay, as a fallout first perk. Grognak floor, three lunch boxes, mistress XO one paint. I'm not really a huge fan about well, or for the um, the the mistress power armor paints, but it would be cool to make like a little superhero room and probably put uh, one of these power armors with the paint on it in that room. Uh, maybe like Grognak or something. It actually does match the Grognak floor and walls. Uh, so maybe that's going to be a thing. I don't know. Five legendary modules, 150 atoms, 100 gold bullion. The mystery sidekick mask. So we've got a Mistress of Mystery sidekick mask. Um, that's actually going to go really well with the Mistress of Mystery outfit. Because as you guys probably know, it came with like the bandana thing. And... Uh, nothing to cover the eyes so you can actually wear this with the bandana i assume and uh so yeah that's probably gonna be really cool i actually have one of my allies i have uh sophia decked out in the mistress of mystery stuff along with the amulet of raw and the dress and everything so i'll probably uh when i unlock this i'll probably give it to her and uh yeah that's pretty cool okay sweet six scrap kits mistress of mystery player icon a perk card pack three carry weight boosters for fallout first members the judgment paint for the fixer we've got a liquid courage uh, Mistress Ultra Sight paint, 250 legendary scripts, 150 atoms, 250 gold bullion, Mistress Sidekick cost. Okay, so they added, they finally added a new uh, male version of the Mistress of Mystery stuff. So you, if you guys were into uh, Mistress of Mystery type play style, you could actually uh, not wear a dress if you're a male character now. So that's a that's a nice little bonus there. That's pretty cool. Uh, six basic repair kits, uh, mean green pose. So I'm not sure. It looks like he's holding a really long, probably the dragon rifle. Um, it looks like from here. I'm not sure if you can use whatever weapon you have or if it's it's going to be that every time. But uh, anyway, so we're almost at the end here. We've got a perk card pack. Uh, what is this? Dr. Brainwash posters, but it doesn't show us what it is. They'll probably fix that later on. Unless it's just a purple poster, but I really doubt that. <laughs> uh, let's see, we've got Mistress T65 Power of Paint. Three lunch boxes, a Wasteland Gong that you can actually go up and bang. It's pretty cool, that was in the trailer. Five legendary modules, 150 atoms, 2,500 caps, Grognak wallpaper, there we go, to complete the, with the uh, Grognak floors that were way down here. Grognak wallpaper, oh, God, oh so this is the Grognak uh, section. That's pretty cool. So I really wish that they added... Um, they came out with a bundle for Grognak. It was like his throne and like his outfit and stuff. I wish they would have added that in this section of the scoreboard rather than the Atomic Shop, but they didn't, so whatever. Uh, three carry weight boosters, Grognak player icon, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, perk card pack, three lunch boxes, Grognak's other axe. So this is a skin for his axe, I guess. It's a guitar skin for his axe. Pretty <laughs> Okay. That's what's up. Uh, nine lunch boxes, samurai. Pa okay, so this is this one and the robotic dog and mall are probably the ones I'm looking forward to the most. This samurai paint for power armor looks freaking 
awesome. And it changes. It's for all power armor, so it's going to look the same no matter what it's on. And it's like it's a nice like gold black with a red face. I think it's dude. This is, and it's and the headlamp is like a cyclops eye, hence samurai. Um, so like when you turn your headlamp on, it's going to be that eye up there in the middle of the head. He's like kind of a cyclops or whatever. But yeah, and then in his rank one hundred is a different set. We'll talk about that when we get there. Uh, so we've got two hundred fifty legendary scripts, one hundred fifty atoms, two hundred fifty gold bullion, a grognak flare, grognak's mead. Grog mug, so this is a new bear, uh, beer stein or beer steen, whatever it is. A little beer things you can put for from a fence on the little tables and stuff in your camp. It's pretty sweet. We've got a fighting stance emote for photo mode. That's actually really cool. That's actually really cool. I, it looks like with the hand that's back, he might actually be able to hold a weapon. So hopefully that's the case and I can pose with my weapon in my hand. Um, if not, oh well, whatever. It's still a pretty cool pose. I like new poses. I do use photo mode a lot to spruce up my loading screen. Uh, we've got 50 perk coins. We've got a demolisher outfit for Fallout First. Remember? Okay, so this is the outfit for the helmet that's way up here. That's the demolisher mask, and that's the outfit. Okay, so that's uh, kind of a funky outfit. I don't think I'll be using that one, honestly. It's weird that they spread them out so far, too. It's like with such a funky looking outfit, why would you make it uh, a Fallout first perk? But oh well, whatever. Grognak sidekick mask, pretty cool. Okay, ten legendary cores. The fetch collectron station. Really looking forward to this one, dudes. This is the robotic dog that uh, apparently collects electronic scrap. Then we've got the Grognak sidekick costume, which I probably will never use. Um, maybe on a mannequin or something. Probably put like in the superhero room. Maybe like do it like a some mannequins with the different, uh, you know, the different outfits on and stuff. And then at rank one hundred, we've got the Unstoppables bundle. Comes with the uh, diabolical power armor paint. So this is samurai, but it's like uh, it's kind of like a rose gold or not rose gold. It's like I don't know. It's eh. It's got like a vanilla color. It's kind of got like rusted face and stuff. I really, I think the, honestly, I don't know. I think this one should have been switched with the the rank 88 one because the rank 88 one has more color to it and pops a lot more and just kind of looks cooler. Um, but that's just my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? That's our rank 100 power armor. I think it should have been switched, but either way, at least I'll get it earlier. Um, we've got the scoreboard like usual. We can put on our wall whenever we're done. And there's more pictures of the uh, power armor dude. Yeah, rocking a non-modified ski sword. <laughs> it's really the way to go. Oh, and we get this cool cataracts icon and 500 atoms for completing the uh, scoreboard. So I think that I that is probably a really cool icon. I probably won't be using it. It'd be really cool if they made a power armor like this dude like a cataracts power armor who maybe they'll put it in the atomic shop that would be really sweet anyway dudes i'm going to um continue playing along here i think i'm going to go check out how to get into vault 51 if you guys want to check out how to get into vault 51 now that nuclear winter is over we can actually uh, get in there and explore we'll see what's in there and i'll catch you guys on the flip flop